Oh, uh, uh, it's me, We're pretending to wake up for this, for some reason. I'm Scott, and this is Let's Play Stupid Rope Ren, Ren, it's been a while. This is Let's Play a Stupid Ren Pi Game. Back with more Moe Wars, Mo Wars, Mo, 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 Mo Wars, Mo Wars. Team Crimson Salmon. Uh, last time on this channel, which was probably months ago by now, I don't remember, uh, I did this game. Well, not this game, but I mean, from this series. So I figured, why the heck not, let's, let's do it again. People seem to like watching this. Here we are with Hannah. Wait, who's Hannah? Is this... Is this a continuation? I thought it was the next game, but, uh, I don't know. Apparently Hannah's been concussed. I can't believe you chose me. <laughs> oh, my head. Maybe this means I'm close to a promotion. Thanks for making the sound effect phone. Excuse me again if I'm, like... I make gross noises, but... Yeah, thank you. Uh, got a cold. It's been going on for, like, a million weeks. That's why I didn't record videos. That's one of the excuses. You don't care. Hannah quickly ran over and clicked the answer button on her video phone. One of her old best friends popped up on the screen. She was 95. Maria. Hi, hey, Hannah. What's up? I don't know what I'm doing for voices. I just got paid a free vacation today. Wow, really? That's the cast Maria's new voice. Yep. I think I'm more surprised that you actually took it. I thought you moved there to work harder, not to get free vacations. I did, and it's not like I don't like it here. I love working my hardest to surpass everyone to earn that promotion. It helps give my life meaning. To get to the top. To the top? But things work a little differently here. It has been kind of stressful. For example, it is raining out of my head. I mean, my boss literally congratulated me on earning the vacation while two of my co-workers were on their knees sucking his, well, lollipop. <laughs> oh. I bet you would get that promotion faster if you did that too. I've probably used these voices before, but trust me when I say I don't remember. No way. I'm going to earn my promotion through hard work, not through my mouth. I bet you wouldn't say that if he was chubbier. <laughs> okay. What's that supposed to mean? You know what I mean. You love chub. Whatever. There's also this weird girl that's always clinging to me. She's a koala. She's the main reason I need a vacation, so I will definitely see her on that vacation, because that's the way stories work. What do you mean by weird? It's kind of hard to explain. She works down south where the prison is, but still always finds time to bug me. She never has her skirt or underwear on. What the hell? Just... Like... So she just walks down, bo walks around bottomless. Is that? Where do you, we're, we're in a prison? I'm just gonna let that sit there for a bit. So how you guys been? Having fun? Being alive? It's pretty good, right? Sometimes. Yep. And she's always hugging and touching me while I'm trying to do my paperwork. It's so annoying. I rip my own face off. It sounds like a very preferred place, Dodd. I mean, Hannah. It's not that bad compared to the Fire Demons Nation. Elder. They literally pay the meals with sex there. I don't know how that works. Payment. Like, hello, I'd like to deposit a bunch of sex into my bank account. Wow, so do the women have any rights? Or how does that work? Is there like human rights violations? Or what's that like? What's that like? Yeah, they have just as much rights as the males. I'm not really sure how it works though, since I live in the Highland, the Dark Demons Nations, you know, the, the Highland. They use the basic credit system like most nations. So I'm guessing Dark Demons aren't as perverted? Is that what that means? I don't know. Yeah, they aren't as bad and actually are very smart. They are said to be smarter than the average worker and bleeder. Don't know how smart that is. Yet not as smart as though no, those no old fixers. Oh yeah, we remember fixers from last time. There was that sex craze. Did she have pink hair? I don't know. She was in a junkyard or something. There's a firing range. I barely remember. It would be kind of hard to be smarter than them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell me more about this vacation you're going on. It's on Hera T23. Is that the planet from last time? <laughs> I feel like it might have been. Who cares? Apparently, Devil Corp brought the planet to test Ren. Yes, it was. 
guess how you're gonna have to test the ran. It, it's not fun. Well, it, yeah, it could be fun, but I mean... It's the button. I think I remember seeing something about that on the news, but I haven't really paid attention to any of it, by which I mean the news. Like, what is that even? What is that even? What is the news? Oops. Shit. How do I go back? Is that back? Is that back? Can I scroll up? Uh... Yeah, there we go. I can. I can scroll up. Great. There are these nanobots that allow you to store objects and even block gunfire, fire. And they go in your butt. Wow. I figured it would be a nice thing to have since I work in a prison. True. How does your prison system work anyways? I don't understand anything. The female prisoners are shipped to Eldred to be used as the male's payment. Well, the males are sanctified to the death in the arena. And you are willingly participating in this society, are you? Great. That's crazy. I'm starting to understand why you're feeling so stressed. What with treating people like animals and everything. <laughs> like the regular prison system, I guess. Ooh, commentary. Yeah. Well, I better go. I may have won a free vacation, but I still have a lot of work to do until then. When does it start? I live on the 22nd of next month. Let's skip ahead to that. Well, that's not too far away. Actually, I think, is it today the 21st? I think it is. I think today is the 21st. Tuesday, April 21st, 2015. Yes, it is. I was right. I know the current date. Good for me. Well, that's too, not too far away. Keep up the hard work. Bye. Bye. Hannah hung up the phone and got to work on the papers that she had brought home from work. She wasn't required to work on them at home, but it was easier since the office could get pretty hectic at times. <laughs> oh, the prison. Anna was very busy for the next month, as she dealt with both work and preparing for her trip. A lot of going on trips in Moe Wars. Mo Wars. Mo me, m m m Wars. M m Wars. On the 22nd, she boarded a ship that was to take her to a station to be equipped with Ren. The station was a large spaceship floating in the darkness of space. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I uh, don't like this. What's that say? Brick wall? Brick. Rage and brick wall. Rage brick wall. That's my wrestler name. I'm Rage Brick Wall. Prepare to be punched. Cause that's the wrestling I do. I hope I don't have to sit around here too long. I hate doing nothing. Is that? That's the same girl from before. I can recognize faces because she has freckles. Hey, Hannah. A what the? Maria? Maria? I just met a girl named Raffi. What are you doing here? I'll explain everything. Like, I'm in the entire universe. I'm basically like Stephen Hawking. Except really fucking stupid. But first, let's get something to eat. I'm starving. I've been waiting around here for forever for your ship to arrive. You should have just told me you were coming. We could have just met up somewhere. I thought it would be more fun to surprise you. In front of the brick wall. Excuse me for a second. Ahem. <clears throat> Fun to listen to. Hannah and Maria went to the cafeteria where they were serving all kinds of foods. Seriously, I've had a cold for like a month. It's nuts. If any of you know a cure for the cold, please let me know in the comments. Don't say suicide. Hannah got a roast beef sandwich, while Maria got a medium rare sirloin with fries. Wow, their orders. It's amazing. I'm shocked you didn't get the shrimp, it looked really good. I love seafood, but since I have it every day, I figured I would get something different. So why are you here anyways? I've been working at the bait shop for over a hundred years. Wow, you are as old as I thought. I wanted to change stuff up, for at least, at least for a little bit, you know? So I figured I would join you on your vacation. It wasn't too expensive, was it? Oh god, it was so... I had to sell all the bait. No, they were selling tickets for half off if you agreed to get equipped with Ren. <laughs> you guys don't know what you're in for at this point. <laughs> oh, hope we have another fun Ren scene. I'm sh um, mm. I'm shocked more people didn't sign up. Well, a lot did, but most people were too scared. The news has been talking about it for the last few weeks. I know what that is now, by the way, I watch the news. Making everyone paranoid. So you're not scared? No way. If you're letting- if you're getting them- then, then, they can't be that bad, right? Yeah. Well, I'm sure everything will be fine based on nothing. None of us ever do any research into what Ren is. We just have hoses put up our butts. 
Devil Corps isn't the kind of company to test something dangerous on innocent people. Their name is Devil Corps. Or Devil Corp, if you prefer. Devil. And they're a corporation. Oh. Great. That's what they use their criminals for. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. They didn't start equipping girls with Ren for another few days, so Hannah and Maria had a lot of time to sit around and catch up with one another. On the day of the equipping, Hannah was running late, which was not like her. That's weird, why am I so late? I don't know, Hannah. You're the only one who could tell us. It shouldn't have taken me that long to get around. Uh, I don't know what Amy looks like, so hey, Hannah. It's gonna be the dialogue. Just let's wait and see. Um, before Hannah could turn around, Amy jumped her from behind, giving her a great big hug. Is this the annoying person from work? I bet it is. I bet it's her. What are you doing here? Um, a friend of mine hired me to help her out. Great, there goes my vacation. So, where are you going? I'm headed to get in line to get a clip with Ren. Oh, really? I'd better get going then. <laughs> Amy ran off down the hall. That was weird. Hannah rushed to get in line, but ended up pretty far behind Maria. Hey, Maria. Let's look up the, uh, the rules for being in line here. I'll sit up in my chair. Ugh, run equipping. Rules for being in line. No pushing or shoving. No spanking. No hitting. No finger. Oh, for Christ's sake. No yelling. Okay. I feel like time is working against me today. For the next 45 minutes, Hannah stood in line. Let's watch. <clears throat> Keep watching. 45 minutes, guys. Gotta play the game correctly. Can't can't just skip ahead. Whew. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Don't tell anybody. I'm, I'm skipping ahead. Next. Finally, I have been waiting forever. Hello, big <laughs> weird blob. Name and creation code. Hannah told the nurse her name and creation code. The nurse typed it in the computer and clicked search. So how do I receive these nanobots? A shot? <laughs> Good news. Maybe they've perfected the technology. No, your body needs too many nanobots for that to be possible. So how do I get them? We cut off your head and put them down your neck. They will be given to you by an enema. Seriously, is this all Moe Wars is? Is just... This? It's like people go to different locations and get stuff put up their butt? Huh? Suddenly, Hannah's profile popped up on the screen. Looks like you're getting the employee rank, which means you'll need a little over three liters. That sounds like a lot. Please strip naked and stand with the others in front of the mirror. <laughs> I feel like this isn't going to be a fun vacation. What are you talking about? It's the most fun you can have on vacation, is getting three liter animus. Hannah slipped off her pants and underwear. I feel like we've done this already, you guys. And I feel awful saying that. Well, here we are. You're going to need to take off everything. Fine. After the humiliating ordeal, she met back up with Maria. Well, that was less graphic than the last time. How was it? So, how did it go? That had to be the most humiliating thing I've ever done. It wasn't that bad. Hannah! Jesus, I have to do three voices now. Great. Hello, Amy. Who's this? This is Amy. She works at the prison with me. I was telling you about her. She's a crazy bitch. I saw you got Ren. It was a lot of money, but totally worth it. What was a lot of money? Watching <laughs> watching you get Ren. Huh? You can watch the girls get equipped with Ren for 100,000 credits. So that's why that mirror was there. Right, right. That makes me wonder about that large mirror in the shower room. Well... Oh no. But I'll use that mirror to... What? Yep, you gave everyone an amazing show. Can we please just get the hell out of this horrible place? That's how I feel right now. Sure, the first transport ship should be arriving soon. In less than two hours, one of the ships arrived to take the passengers to the, to Her the Hera T-23, the Ren testing planet. While on board, Maria noticed that Hannah didn't seem to be feeling well. There's a room, a bathroom, and an un- Everything okay? Yeah, it's just that I've been going to the bathroom non-stop since getting equipped with Ren, and now I'm being forced to go commando. 
Uh, well, everyone has accidents once in a while. For example, Scott played this game. Again. Not like that. Did you forget to put them on? No, they just disappeared. You mean while you were being equipped with Ren? No, I mean they literally, they literally disappeared. The nanobots ate my underpants. I was wearing them when I got on the ship, but when I went to the bathroom, I wasn't. Are you saying we have a panty ninja on the ship? That's the name of an anime that I like. I don't know. Maybe I'm going insane. Relax. You're supposed to be on vacation. I'll try. It took around a half day for the ship to arrive on Hera T23. So, this is it. You are now used, allowed to use your Ren program. Use it to kill me. Hey, it's Rika's FYI. Ren look works like an app, turning the body into a weapon system. Great. For safety reasons, it was designed only to work on Hera T23 for all non-staff members. We should go to the park to test it out. How do you know this place has a park? What's well, an entire planet, Hannah? They had a map of this place on the ship. According to the map, there's a pond there. I would rather drop off my luggage first. I found your hotel on the map, too. It's in the same direction. We can drop by the park on our way there. Sounds like a good idea. The three of them walked into the park. Walked to the park. They walked to the park where they praised the sun. Which I believe is a Dark Souls reference, but I don't play Dark Souls, so I don't know exactly what it means. When they got there, they found a nice spot next to a bench to try out their Ren. I should play Dark Souls, probably. Though, I don't like frustrating games, so maybe not. Maybe I'll just kick people on Halloween. Yeah, I'll do that. So how exactly does this stuff work? You're supposed to be able to control everything with your brain, unlike normal, which you don't. You don't control anything with your brain. It's a little hard to control, so don't accidentally absorb your clothes or anything. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe that's what happened to your panties. God, I hate the... weird word. That makes sense. Does it? Does that make sense? You better watch out. You don't want any more clothes disappearing while you're in public. Or in general. That would be expensive, I feel. That would be okay. There are no nudity laws here. You can run around naked if you want. I did my research. No. Aww. After a few minutes of awkward silences, they were able to get it started. Yeah, get it started. Hmm, I think I got it to work. Welcome. Thank you for helping us to... Oh, that's a Ren. Welcome. Thank you for helping us test the Ren program. Maria starts by registering her Ren. She has a hard time using the mental controls, but was still able to get it done. After filling out the main information, Maria starts to set up her Dechi to try There are two types of Dechi for you to choose from. Fire Dechi and Dark Dechi. Which one would you like as your ID? I guess I'll pick the fire one. Just then, Hannah finished registering her Ren. There, everything's done. Cool, I like your Dechi's horns. I got a Dechi, Gem Dechi, since I'm an employee. Rika's FYI. Gem Dutch are given to employees, supporters, and gold testers. This allows for them to carry two weapons and more ammo. Testers can only carry one weapon. Aren't you going to customize it more? Nah, that's fine the way it is. I'm boring as hell. So, that's so like you. Haha. <laughs> Maria added a few more finishing touches to her Dechi. Done. What do you think? Look, he's got a fucking snorkel. <laughs> he's, he's ready for underwater. Even though... I, well, I guess like... Nah, yeah, never mind. Looks good. Yeah. Dutchy work is the user's ID and is only visible to other Ren users. So exactly what can you do with Ren other than store weapons, ammo, and clothes? You can use it to enhance your body's performance. For example, I can fart really loud now. So I could use it to hold my breath longer when I'm underwater? You gave your Dutchy a snorkel. Yep. I think I'm going to love this thing. Though I guess you're all like the fish person, so sure, snorkel. Are you wearing a bathing suit now? I don't know. You can also use it to change the color and design of your clothes. Let me try. Oh, damn. Maria used her rent to alter the color and design of her cloth. Cool. Can you also change your outfit with it? Yes, but only if you have the outfit stored in your rent. With this, you can start wearing normal clothes around instead of your swimsuit, called it. No thanks, I like my pantsless fashion. You should go pantsless too, Hannah. It's very refreshing. I would suggest you start wearing underwear first. Not funny. They sat around and talked for a while until the sun started to go down. Like my interest. Amy seemed to disappear in the middle of it all. She died. We never saw her again. Wait, where did your friend go? 
and I wouldn't call her my friend. What do you mean? Remember the clingy girl I told you about on the phone? That's her. She's invisible now. She's hearing everything you say. You just need to tell her to leave you alone. I'll try, but the she doesn't seem to listen. I think she has a strong connection with the company, so I don't want to be mean to her or I may never get promoted. Don't worry, I'm sure you will get promoted soon. You're one of the hardest workers I know. Thanks. I'm enjoying vacation with no underpants. Well, I guess we should get going. I still need to pick out an apartment to stay at while I'm here. You didn't figure that out before you changed planets? Sure, why not? I already got mm <clears throat> I already got mine. Lucky you. The two of them headed towards Hannah's apartment. It's naughty number one spaceship. Did you ever check to see if your pennies were stored in your red? No, let me check now. Nope, they're not in there. Are you in the right area? I'm pretty sure I am. I'm under storage, but there's nothing in it. I guess the mystery of the lost panties continues. Please don't say it like that. The two of them walked in the lobby of Hannah's apartment building. Hannah walked over to the elevator while Maria went to check in on check on the price. The price. She went to check on the price. Maria quickly ran back over to Hannah after speaking to the receptionist. I think I'm going to look around more first. Is this place too pricey? It's not too bad, but I should be able to find a better deal. Good luck on finding one. I'll meet up with you here tomorrow. Okay, my room is D3. Okay, see you tomorrow. Night. <laughs> Alright. Night. The next day, Maria arrived at Hannah's door. She knocked on the door a few times. Are you ready yet? Hannah quickly opened the door. Yeah, I'm ready. I slept in my clothes. Apparently you did too. Did you remember your, to wear underwear this time? Yes. Prove it. What? I just want to make sure you're not going crazy on me. Fine. Hannah pulled down her pants just enough to show the rim of her underwear. See ya? I'm wearing them. Yep, they're your lame underwear, all right. My underwear is not lame. It is highly effective at containing my nether region. I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no panty ninjas get you. I think I need to stop recording soon. God, I hope I've been recording. Uh, Alright, uh, two more screens. Sound good? And we're gonna, I gotta go. We gotta hit the road. We're gonna part one now and then part two later. I don't know, whatever. Nah, and by hit the road, I mean not do this anymore. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, hopefully it won't happen again. Well, if one does show up, I'll use this on them. Maria held out her hands and weapon digitized out of nowhere. It was a navy green gun with a spear sticking out of it. Well, um, well, I see you mastered the ability to absorb and spawn items. It wasn't that hard. So what kind of gun is it? It's an underwater assault rifle with a harpoon attachment. That sounds like it cost you a lot of money. It did, but it was totally worth it. Maybe I can earn the money back by winning one of the tournaments. Tournaments are being held at this Jeepway to quickly beta, beta test Red. I don't think I'll be competing. I would rather not get shot. But since Red absorbs the gunfire, you can't get killed. Still, I would rather not get shot at. You crazy, Hannah. Plus, you still feel the pain of the shot. Yeah, why would you not want that? There's also a tournament for melee fighters. That sounds a little less painful, but I don't have a weapon. You should be able to find a good deal on one since you are an employee. Pretty much all the shops around here are run by Devil Corp. I guess I could buy one. Then let's go weapon shopping. Okay. All of Moe Wars is trying on outfits, putting stuff up your butt, and shopping for weapons. I've determined that's what this game is about, and always will be about. You mean right now? Yeah, it's not like we have anything else to do today, or anything to do in the game. Sure. The two of them wandered around the shopping district looking for stores that sold melee weapons. Hey, look, it's weapons for noobs again. How was your luck finding an apartment? It was okay. I spent hours looking around and finally decided on one that wasn't much cheaper than yours. Sorry, if I'm going fast, I want to get to the next... This is the second screen. And three, I can stop. Well, at least you saved some money. True. Wait a second, I think I know that breeder over there. You mean the one who's wearing like three layers of cloths? Yeah, but I'm shocked she would be at a place like this. Not a spaceship, not a number one spaceship. Who is she? Don't you recognize her? No, should I? She works at the library where you live. You know I've never been to the library. I don't know what the news is. You sure? It's a great place to learn. It's a great place to learn. By now you're probably wondering what fixer, worker, and breeder means. Let me explain. Please don't. I can guess based on the names. At this point in time, most humans are made in labs. There are three main human classes, fixers, workers, and breeders. Fixers like me are tiny and adorable. We are super smart and designed to work in the main area of ships. Hannah, Maria, and Amy are workers. There's nothing really special about their class. They're just the basic human. Then there are the breeders, who are very... Yep. Hannah walked up to Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Oh, hello, Hannah. Busty. Breeders are the only ones out of three classes that can get pregnant. They're designed as backups to a human race would go extinct if for some reason they couldn't get to a lab. They're also the main class used as soldiers since they can heal faster than the other classes. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, I just got done reading this book about a gladiator princess, and it kind of inspired me. 
I also figured rent could be pretty helpful. That's right, Dad. I figured it would be helpful. It helped me helpful since I worked in a prison. How is that working out for you? Good. It's just a little stressful. Well, I'm sure you'll get through it. Thanks. So I'm guessing you'll be entering the tournament? Yes. I plan on entering the melee tournament. What about you? Maybe, but first I need to find a weapon. I wish you good luck on your quest. Thanks. Now, oh, damn it! I wish you wouldn't ask a question, Maria. My throat hurts already. Before you go, I have a question. Aren't you wearing? Aren't you hot wearing all those clothes? It's over 85 degrees out. It would be immoral of me to show any more skin than this. Oh. Even though there's no sweat marks, they could easily tell she was very hot. She was wearing a very strong perfume, most likely to cover up the smell of her body sweating. Well, I better get going. I will see you two later. There she goes. Nicole walked away. It's immoral to have skin showing? She used to bug me about my belly showing all the time. She said it makes me look like a whore. Wow, some people. Hannah and Maria continued their search for a weapon. Most of the stores didn't have anything good, and the ones that did were too expensive. I feel like that's a screen change. It changed. It's darker now. Okay, let's just see if she goes in the store. Here's another store. Let's check in here. Bam! All right. Next time we come back, we're going to shop for weapons. Hopefully we can use them to shoot each other. God! I'm Scott, and this has been Let's Play a Ren Pie Game. Uh, please leave a comment. Sorry it takes me so long to up upload a video. I don't know what I'm doing with my time. Not this. Yep. Scott. Let's play stupid Ren Pie Game. Stop recording. Goodbye.